For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The Bible proclaims that there is a way to heaven. The Bible proclaims that God has prescribed for man a particular way to reach to God the Father. God has prepared a way for you by a merit that you cannot do yourself. There is a way to be saved that's outside of religion. There is a way that is outside of your own personal belief and opinion. For Jesus said, I am the way. And we just read in John chapter 3 that the way of God is to believe on the Son of God, to believe on the only name prescribed by God. For there is no other name given amongst men to whereby ye must be saved. According to Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 12, verse 24. There is one name, there is one Son, there is one way to heaven outside of what you believe and what Satan wants you to believe and what the world will teach. We come here to tell you about the Bible, to tell you about Jesus Christ, about what God has prescribed for you, because the Bible says, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. We don't do it out of hatred. We do it out of love because we seek after your soul. We do a biblical way of preaching that is found in the Bible. What would Jesus do? He would preach on the streets of Jerusalem. He would preach on the seashore and the Sea of Galilee. He would stand in a boat and preach to the people. He would be in the temple preaching to the people. The apostles in the book of Acts would be on the street preaching to the people, in the homes preaching to the people. The preaching it is about the Lord Jesus Christ and the way to heaven. And Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way. That is God who is speaking, because I'm here to tell you God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. And when God says, I am the way, you are seeking other ways. You can't be doing what God wants you to do. God did not say the church is the way. God did not say money is the way. God did not say you are the way. Jesus said, I am the way. There is no other way of salvation. There is no other way to heaven except by the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth. Let's speak about the truth. Because there's either the truth or there's a lie. There is no in-between. There is no half-truth. There is no white truth. There is no polka-dotted truth. The truth is the truth or else it's a lie. As we're going into political season, either those people that are running for office are going to tell us the truth and do what they want to do when they get in that office, or they are speaking a lie and they'll get to the White House and say and not do what they said. That will be a lie. And political people, political time, we know by certain characters, by political people and used car salesmen that their reputation is for lying. I'm here to tell you now, let me tell you something about lying, political office, used car salesmen. I'm here to add to you another office of liars. I'm going to say, preachers will lie to you. Priests will lie to you. Churches will lie to you. Paul says 
that there is another Jesus, there is another Spirit, there is another Gospel, except the man preach that Jesus is the way, outside of any merit that can we do, for there is nothing we can do, not of works, least any man should boast that Jesus is the way. If man is preaching anything but Jesus Christ, it is a lie for you to get to heaven. If they tell you to say prayers, if they tell you to burn candles, flip beads, give money, come to our church, join our thing, read our material, if that's not about the Lord Jesus Christ, then it is a lie. John 8, 44 tells us that Satan is the author and the foundation and the father of all lies. The Bible tells us that God cannot, will not, it's impossible for the Holy God, the Father, and Jesus Christ, again, who is God, and God is Jesus Christ, ever to lie to you. I can lie to you. I am very capable of telling you a lie. But when I speak of the Bible, the King James Authorized Version of 1611, when I speak these words to you, I am not speaking to you in a lie. I am speaking to you by the very words of God written to us. Yes, He used man, but the ink is the Holy Spirit to tell you what God expects out of your life. Jesus Christ said to you, according to John chapter 3, ye must be born again. The word must is not an optional word. And if Jesus is the truth, and He is, and when He says must, you have to. That is the only, that is the exact, that is the identical purpose that God has planned for you to reach out to Him, ye must be born again. That is the truth spoken by God, recorded in the Bible. A Bible that speaks of 48 prophecies about one man who is the truth, who is the way, and all 48 prophecies have come to pass, and yet there are more to be fulfilled. You cannot find 100% prophecy fulfilled in anything outside the Bible, and you can take the Koran and go coloring your coloring book with the Koran, because there are no prophecies in the Koran. The Koran is not authorized by God, because God is not Allah. God is Jehovah. God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, not Ishmael. <clears throat> the God Allah wants your blood. The God Jehovah shed His blood. There's a big difference in the world of God today in the realm of your newspapers and media. You have removed God from the schools and you have replaced Satan to fill in the gap. And you wonder why this world is in tribulations and troubles. Well, that's the God you want. Well, I'm here to tell you that the God that you need and not want by preference is the God set aside in this Bible. For God so loved the world. Allah don't love you. But the God in the Bible loves you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm here to tell you something that will sound very weird. I'm here to tell you something that's going to sound contradictive. But when you die, you will live. When you take your dying breath and your eyes shut off for eternity, you will live. And you may ask, is there an afterlife? The Bible says yes. The Bible proclaims that there is an afterlife. The afterlife of the Bible, the way, the truth, 
and the life speaks about a heaven and a hell. And we don't want to hear about hell. But let me speak to you about Jesus Christ who spoke more about hell than he did about heaven. Because the wages of sin is death and a based upon your death outside the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel that he died for your sins. He was buried according to the scriptures. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. By the scripture account of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are not born again, if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If you have not ever trusted Jesus Christ and placed your sins under his holy sinless blood, you will die and wake up in hell because you have rejected the offering, the sacrifice, the love of God sent to you. I'm here to tell you that today when people die and wake up in hell it is because they have rejected God's free gift. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You will die, but there is a gift to receive before you die, and that gift will be open after you die. How's that one? How's that for a contradiction of terms? There's a gift when you die to be open, and that gift is eternal life. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You've got to have the proper Jesus. You've got to have the biblical Jesus. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is not white. Jesus Christ of the Bible is not a Hollywood Jesus. Jesus is not even Baptist. Jesus is not even Pentecostal. Jesus is not even Catholic. Jesus is not a religion. Jesus is not black or chocolate. He's not hollow on the inside like you're on Easter time. Oh, that's a rabbit, Jesus. Jesus doesn't come around December 25th bringing gifts. He is the gift. Santa Claus is a lie, but Jesus is the truth, he said. You have misrepresented what God is. God's gift is not a bunch of toys and junk and material things. God's gift is His Son to you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have, there it is, eternal life. If you think you can earn your way into heaven today and die and go to, go to St. Peter and say, this is what kind of person I am, wasn't I so good? The Bible says there is none good. No, not one. So by that qualification found in the book of Romans, you cannot enter in heaven being a good person because there are no good people. For all have sinned and come to show the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. You cannot get to God by what you are. You are a sinner. And a sinner is a person which are all people. And sin is a disease. And it is terminal. You will die because of your sins. And you cannot get to heaven by how good you are. It's almost as possible for a dentist to work on his own teeth. Highly impossible. Completely impossible for you to get to heaven by you and what you are. For the Bible speaks against what you are. There are Bibles in this, uh, there are stories in this Bible. You say, well, how cruel, how wicked that, yeah, and that's how we are today. We are all wicked and sinners before the eyes of God outside of believing on the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse us from all our sins. If you are relying on what you have done to wash away your sins, it will not work. You have applied more sins to sins by trusting in yourself as a God. 
And that is called self-righteousness. And that is definitely a sin in the Bible. So by your actions, you have added more sins instead of taking away sin. The Bible speaks of an afterlife, eternal life. There's a heaven. There's a hell. <clears throat> Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, that's God, but, except by me. So if you want to get to God the Father, if you want to get to the Holy of Bones, heaven, to God, and you are resting in a church membership, if you are resting in a, a religion, you are resting in the, the doctrines of man. I'm here to tell you that you have believed from John 8, 44, Satan the liar. Satan is the author of your religion. Because the only means to God is the way, the truth, and the life, and that is not found in religion. If it is found in religion, why do all the religions contradict each other? Why do I stand here and proclaim that Jesus is God, yet the Jehovah Witnesses say He is not? Why do I stand here and say that Jesus cannot be taken orally, but the church teaches you must swallow Jesus to be saved? There's contradictions in the realm of a fellowship of men called religion, called church, called Baptist, called Catholic, called Pentecostal, called Methodist, called whatever you want to call it. God calls it a lie. God calls it not the way. Religion can't save you because religion cannot say, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes unto the Father but by me. But those words were spoken by Jesus Christ. And there are some of you out there who are Baptists, and you are in religion, and just because you're a Baptist does not mean you're saved. Just because you're a Baptist means you're going to heaven. That's another lie of Satan. You need to be a Christian. And a Christian is one that is washed in the blood of Christ by action and not by name and title only. You have to come in your life and ask Jesus Christ to wash you of your sins by His blood to save you to be a Christian. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. How much different this Bible is from religion. You will walk around this little island to get away from God. You will be afraid of a little piece of paper that has scripture on it. But if I had little cookies here in Jesus' body, you would line up. If I had hamburgers here for the Baptist organization, you would line up. If I had Budweiser here for all those people to get in with the group and get in with the world, you line up. But I stand here with the Bible, I stand here with scripture, and you go around us. Because you know you stand guilty before God. You don't want God in His Ten Commandments because you know you have violated the Ten Commandments. You have violated what God has said. You have violated what God has told you to do. And God has told you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Access to the Father, we've already said, is not done by what you are and who you are. It is not done by religion. I don't believe in God. There is no God. That's perfectly fine because the book of Psalms says in two places uh, that you're a fool. Just because you don't believe in God, God is supposed to go away and disappear because you don't believe in Him. Yet thousands upon millions upon billions upon trillions and not more people have believed on God and believe on His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and you say there is no God is supposed to erase away His existence. Sorry, you have believed another lie. If Satan cannot get you to 
worship Him as a God, He'll get you to worship Him as nothing. No thing. You've got to have the way, the truth, and the life to have access to the Father, John 14, 6, and 7. You've got to be a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If you come up to me and say, Preacher, I've never sinned, I'll show you the Bible where you make God a liar. Let me talk to your wife for five minutes. I'll find out how much of a sinner you are. Let me talk to your husband for a few minutes. I'll find out how much of a sinner you are. Let me talk to your children. I'll find out how much of a sinner you are. Let me talk to your parents. I'll find out what you've done wrong. Listen, it's not Santa Claus that's making a list. It's God. Proverbs 15, 3. Behold the eyes of the Lord in every place. Behold the evil and the good. You may lie to me about your sins, but you can't lie before God. God is recording. And when you say you have not sinned, God opens up your book and says, liar. Because you are a sinner. Look at all the, the rows and columns above. And the dates to show what you've done wrong. I'm here to tell you the biggest sin ever in the whole entire world. The worst sin in all the world. It's not murder. It's not pornography. It's not adultery. It's not stealing. The biggest, greatest sin that will send you off into hell eternity is rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. That is the only sin that will place you into the devil's hell never made for man. When the Bible records, Jesus said when God made hell, He made it for Satan and his angels. It was never designed by you, but when God gave man a command, He said, don't eat that fruit, and guess what? You disobeyed God. He said that was a long time ago. That was Adam. You're disobeying God right now by not believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's just as much as don't eat that fruit. When we tell you what God expects from your life, what God wants from your life, and you don't come and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you have rejected what God has told you to do. And God told you that you must be born again. And being born again is by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ alone. Walking on by, stepping on by, trying to ignore me, trying to ignore the Bible makes you a sinner because you have rejected what God has told you to do. You got a sin condition. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to rely on yourself? Or are you going to rely on God? If, that's conditional, most of you will not do this verse. Jesus said he must, but the Bible says if. You must, but God has given you a free will choice to do with your life. As you please, but God says there is a must. If we, that's all of us, including me. I am a sinner here proclaiming the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ who sits 